In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to get the scroll token airdrop. Scroll is a new layer 2 scaling solution ZK rollup for Ethereum that is currently only in the alpha test net. Now there have been some other big airdrops in the past such as Aptos where if you interacted with the test net you got a huge airdrop worth thousands of dollars of Aptos tokens when it went live. So the test net is certainly worth interacting with and also with scroll they are currently valued at 1.8 billion dollars and they just secured a new funding round at the start of march worth 50 million dollars and their total funding is at 83 million dollars by vc investors so typically with a project that is rumored to do an airdrop right this is all speculation it's not guaranteed they do do an airdrop but typically with projects that are rumored to do an airdrop i look for valuations from $10 million to $15 million in funding. So scroll at $83 million tells me that this is an airdrop worth farming. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial and let the gains be with you. Welcome back to Crypto Empire. My name is Connor, and this is where we dominate the crypto market. So as we can see right here, Scroll is the native ZK EVM. It's a layer two scaling solution ZK rollup for Ethereum. And as we talked about in the intro, they have raised $83 million in funding. They have a valuation of $1.8 billion. And typically when these VCs throw tens of millions of dollars at a project, they want to tokenize the project and they also want a community. So how do they get a community? They airdrop a token when the mainnet goes live to the early supporters, the early backers in the community of the project. And right now scroll is in the alpha test net. So it is worth paying attention to and it is worth doing transactions on the scroll alpha test net to get yourself in contention for the airdrop. So step number one is you're gonna need a MetaMask wallet. If you don't have MetaMask yet, you should, especially if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, right? Everything we do pretty much uses MetaMask. I will leave the MetaMask link in the description down below if you don't have one yet. But you will also need to get familiar with the Gorelli Ethereum test network. This is the test network for ETH. If you don't have it in your MetaMask wallet already, I will leave this link in the description down below. This is Scroll's website. From here, you can add the Gorelli test network to your MetaMask wallet by just clicking this button, as you can see right here. And you can also add the Scroll Alpha test net. You need to do these steps. All right, as you can see, I get a message in the bottom left. You're already on the Scroll Alpha test network. Now, just to prove to you that you know, this isn't just something I started doing yesterday. We can see here with my address, I currently have 30 transactions and these go back as far as two months. All right, so this is not something I started doing yesterday. I've been doing this for a while. And right now I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I have been doing to get myself in the best possible contention for as many scroll tokens as possible. All right, so once you have the Gorelli test network, in your MetaMask wallet, and you also have the scroll out the testnet, you're first gonna need to get some Gorelli Ethereum from the Gorelli faucet. You cannot skip this step, you need to do this. So I will leave the link to the faucet down in the description below. You can see right here, you can get 0 0.02 Gorelli ETH per day, all right? And you do need to make an Alchemy account. So when you come here, in the top right, it's gonna say log in, and you will be able to create an account from this menu. You can use a Google account, doesn't matter. Just log in, because you need to log in to get the Ethereum. From here, what you're gonna to wanna to do, just paste your MetaMask address, and then hit you're not a robot, and then complete the Kapacha, and then hit send me ETH. So it says it failed. That's most likely because I requested Gorilla Ethereum less than 24 hours ago. All right, so I would have to log out and log in with a different account. You can do that. So regardless, I already have Gorelli Ethereum in my wallet on both the Scroll Alpha Test Network as well as the Gorelli Test Test Network, right? As you can see, I have 0.2. From this faucet, they used to give 0.1 Gorelli ETH per day, but it's now 0.02, which is really kind of a bummer if you have never gotten any Gorelli ETH before because you're gonna be working with much less amounts but it still works, so there's no excuses. Now when you hit this button here, send me ETH, within a few seconds, you're gonna see the Gorelli Ethereum populate in your MetaMask wallet here. Once you have this, you are ready to actually get started farming the airdrop. And in order to do that, we need to come on over to the scroll bridge. Now on the scroll bridge, we are able to move that Ethereum, we just got the Gorelli Ethereum from the Gorelli test network to the scroll alpha test network. All right, so we can go ahead, you guys are gonna get 0 0.02. 
So we'll just do it with that amount. So as you can see, all I did was put in 0 0.02 here where it says Ethereum on the Gorilla test network. We're gonna send it to the Scroll Alpha test network and just hit send ETH. Now we just have to confirm it in our wallet. You pay a small gas fee. It's all test network fees. This doesn't cost you any actual money. All right, there you go. It's been a solid five to seven minutes and we just got the first success. So the transaction did go through on the Gorelli Ethereum test network. We're just waiting for it to confirm now on the scroll ZK EVM. Perfect, just a few seconds later, we got that 0 0.02 Ethereum in our scroll wallet. So this takes less than 10 minutes to bridge over. That's all the waiting you're gonna have to do for this airdrop tutorial. Now let's get to work and start getting some transactions in on the scroll alpha test network. So there are a few decentralized applications that we can use right now. When I started doing this back in March, you can only use scroll Uniswap. This is a different URL than the regular Uniswap. I will leave this link down in the description below. Now, once you're here, connect your wallet as so. And from here, it's very simple. This is Uniswap. So all we wanna do is create some swaps here. All right, as you can see, I already have a little bit of wrapped ether as well. So let's grab some USDC and we're, we're gonna swap some over. If you only have 0 0.02 Gorelli ETH, obviously do smaller amounts. All right, so, and these numbers are obviously wrong too. It's not worth $66,500. But we're gonna go ahead and confirm the swap and all these transactions are basically instant as you're gonna see right here. And there we go, in 5.6 seconds, the transaction went through. All right, so I recommend you swap back and forth a few times, right? You can go back. I have some wrapped ETH, so I can go ahead and unwrap this as you can see right here. Just do some transactions on Uniswap and after you do your transactions, make sure you have a little bit of USDC because what we're gonna do right now is we are going to deploy some liquidity. As you can see, that was a success right there. And I now have 0.15 Gorelli Ethereum. So like I said, get some USDC. Now go over to pool. And once we are in pool, as you can see here, I have one active position open of Ethereum USDC. So we will make a new position here. Hit Ethereum USDC. I like to do this one, 0.05%. Uh, and I will go ahead and I will do full range. All right, I'm not gonna do a minimum and maximum price. This is Uniswap V3. I'm gonna hit full range, hit I understand. And now I will go ahead and I will go ahead and pair 30,000 USDC here and that's gonna be 0 0.009 Gorelli ETH. We will approve the USDC and go ahead and approve it. Once it's approved, should be approved in a few seconds, we can add the liquidity preview and hit add. Now we're just gonna confirm the transaction in our wallet like so. Transaction submitted and in a few seconds, it will be complete. There we go. So it takes around five, six seconds for every transaction to complete pretty quick. So you're gonna to wanna to do this you know, a few times, but don't overdo it. You don't wanna be detected as some kind of bot, robot. There's a lot of robots farming airdrops nowadays. And all of these different projects have their own mechanisms in place to detect whether or not your wallet address is being botted or not. So you really wanna steer clear of even being in conversation of being a bot. So don't go too crazy and spam transactions of like super small amounts and stuff like that. Just act like a person would do like two, three transactions or whatever, and then wait a few weeks, wait two weeks, three weeks, and then do more. All right, but this is Uniswap scroll. Do some swaps, do some pools, and then move on to step number two now. Step number two is Ave. So Ave was introduced to scroll in the beginning of May, so a few weeks ago. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is head on over to the Ave application. Again, I'll make it easy and leave every link in the description down below. Once you are on the Ave application, in the top right corner of your screen, you know, you'll see your wallet address connected. Just to the right of that, you will see a little gear icon. Click on the gear icon, and you wanna make sure you have testnet mode on. When you first come to the Ave application, it will be off, so switch it on. If you don't switch it on, this is not gonna work. So we have testnet mode on, perfect. Now come on over to the center of the screen with this little drop down arrow next to where it says scroll alpha market because it's gonna be on Ethereum for you. All right, so we wanna make sure we select scroll alpha here and now we are ready to do this. All right, so we are going to be supplying Gorelli Ethereum 
to the Aave application here. So it says assets ready to supply, and I have Ethereum here. All right, so I will hit supply. And then I will go ahead and supply 0.01 ETH, and then just confirm it by hitting supply here. And hit confirm. So it's gonna take five, six seconds to do this. Gas fees, less than one cent on this layer two ZK rollup. There we go, perfect. Hit okay, close. Now we wanna borrow some assets. All right, so let's go ahead and we can borrow some USDC here. Actually, we'll borrow some DAI. And I'm gonna borrow $10 worth of DAI here. So hit borrow and then just confirm the transaction. And these are all counting as transactions for your account. So we wanna make sure we have a nice number of total transactions. And also we wanna make sure they're spaced apart. Like I showed you earlier in the video on the, on the Blockchain Explorer. You know, I have transactions from two months ago, as you can see, two months ago, one month ago. So for the Arbitrum airdrop, part of the criteria was doing distinct transactions over several different months. So March, April, May, we're about to start June. We want to make sure we get transactions in on as many months as possible, as well as as many distinct weeks and then days. All right. So we want to kind of spread our transactions out. Like I said, don't spam it like a robot. But there we go. Perfect. We just borrowed some die. Now you can go back and you can repay this loan. You can borrow more. But this is how you use the Aave application on the Scroll Alpha Testnet. This is a very crucial step for the airdrop, so don't skip it. Every step is crucial at that. But regardless, this is how we use Aave. Now let's move on to step number three. Step number three is going to be Sync Swap. Sync Swap is a decentralized exchange created for the ZK Sync network, but it is also on the Scroll Alpha. So as you see here, I click on where it says scroll alpha on the top. You're probably going to be on the ZK Sync era mainnet. Make sure you're on the scroll alpha network. And then once you're here, hit the faucet button at the top. And I already claimed this, but basically it's going to ask you to retweet some tweet. And then you can claim a bunch of faucet testnet tokens. All right, so go and use the faucet. Do what you got to do. Get the tokens. Confirm the transaction. Now you are ready to work. All right, so this is another... Uh, decentralized exchange so it gives us a bunch of different tokens from the faucet to work with so as you can see I have some test sync swap I can go ahead and sell a little bit of that for ethereum so I'll go ahead and do this we'll sign it you can swap anything you want it doesn't really matter just you know do a few swaps over here on sync swap there you go all right perfect went through just fine and now we can also do the same thing we did on Uniswap. We can go to the pool section. And as you can see, I've already created some pools here previously, but I'll show you how to do some more. All right, so from this part where it says positions, to the right you hit new position. And we will hit classic, and we're gonna select the tokens we wanna to pool. So we'll pull some FRAX as well as some USDT. And we'll go ahead and enter this pool. Now from over here, we're in the overview section, we'll hit deposit. And we will go ahead and put in a thousand fracs. And we want to add tokens in balance proportion. So I'm going to check that. And a thousand fracs is equivalent to 95 USDT on the scroll alpha test network. Like I said, those are not accurate amounts, but it doesn't matter. So now we'll sign the approval transaction and now we can deposit it like so and hit confirm there and transaction has been submitted and it will go through in a few seconds so this is the gist of it these are the three main applications that you can use as far as i know the three only applications you can use on the scroll alpha test network so use them like i said every two three weeks come on up here do some transactions and then i'm doing this on multiple wallets i would recommend that you do it on multiple wallets too to get as much money as possible because you know these these guys got 83 million dollars thrown at them they're most likely going to do a token airdrop so get your piece of the pie if you know what i'm saying so make make a few wallets and do this 
And now the last step would be to join the scroll guild on guild.xyz slash scroll zkp. I will leave this link down in the description below, but you're gonna to have to connect your Discord account. And you're also gonna to have to connect your MetaMask wallet as well as your Twitter account. And you can join the scroll guild. And this gives you a mystery role here in the scroll discord all right so this may be a factor for the airdrop it takes a few seconds to do so i will again leave the link in the description down below but this is the full step-by-step -step guide for the scroll airdrop it's really not complicated at all follow scroll on their twitter account as you can see they're huge 452k followers follow them on twitter so you don't miss any important updates but i hope that you did enjoy this full step-by-step -step tutorial video for the scroll airdrop in this video i showed you step by step how to get the scroll airdrop using the scroll alpha test network scroll is only on testnet right now i would not fade this i would not discount it because it's only on testnet get those transactions in and put yourself in the best position possible for the airdrop and like I said, no airdrop is actually confirmed by the team ahead of time. You need to speculate, you need to do the transactions, and you need to invest your time for it, and then it is usually rewarded with a token airdrop, but not all the time, all right? So it's not guaranteed that you're gonna make money doing this, but there is a pretty good probability, in my opinion. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.